It's not really my intent to catch up with anybody here. Although, I'm willing to make an exception. Oh my word. Hey, Stu, my old friend. I have something for you. It's... I've, it's never left me. It's giant and gold. Hey, Stu. What a... <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Shalaka! You can see me catch you the name's haste to. I'm from Croc Forest up north. I'm a musician and my happiest happy place is playing my maracas and dancing. I left the forest to do some traveling, but things have gotten pretty wild lately. That's why I'm stopping at a safe place with lots of people around. <laughs> But I'm getting bored just standing here. Do you want to see my dance before you go? <gasps> Hang on. Something's wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are all gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? The children of the forest must have taken them again. <sighs> if I had even one Korok seed, I could sing and dance and make your inventory bigger. Ha ha ha! Yeah! Ha! <sighs> That's awesome. Yes, please dance for my body. Hang on. Do you have a Korok seed? You do. You've got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me a Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger. Shalaka, so which stash do you want more slots in? Give me that weapon stash, baby. Do it. Oh, it's a new down. Oh, he's summoning Korok seed, Koroks from... The netherworld <laughs> from the afterlife I send them to when I drop rocks on their head. Yes! I've I've been so tired of having limited shields and weapons. Honestly, it's uh it's just all of the above. I'm not even gonna prioritize anything. I might I might not prioritize with shields. Maybe get one. Maybe get one of them. Oh, it's so good. I have so many. Kind of. <sighs> From 75 or whatever it was to zero, I have... <sighs> I feel such relief over this. It has been, I'll admit, a little bit stressful to manage this inventory with such such a constraint but now I have now I have a lot of leeway all of these specialty weapons that I've I've been carrying the rods I mean this these super powerful weapons as soon as I make one of those super powerful weapons I can't just use it I have to sit on it and only use it when I'm fighting something super difficult but that's essentially removing an, an inventory slot from me so I've been having to juggle like really realistically four or five inventory slots here but now I have so much more. So much more. It's going to be great. The ability to save my good weapons for a time that I actually need them is awesome. Okay, you don't have any more armor. Now, now that I've now that I've talked to Hastu, and I was actually... I've been considering. I've been considering a tactical extraction of the Korok mask from the, uh, from the Korok forest. I asked you guys a while ago in, um, actually, like, the community tab where it was and you guys said hey take a look underneath the Korok forest I was like okay bet I might do that it's very tempting to just skip out on everything beeline it there do it and then go back to the regularly scheduled program um, because if I'm planning on 100%ing this then I the sooner I get that mask the better uh Sure. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Taro. You're just not the right one for the job. Oh. oh, come on. Don't say that. You've got to let me cast my line into the depths, too. I'm capable of deciphering some Zonai script. Who else can tackle that stuff? Oh, my word. Oh, my word. I mean, your skills would be super helpful to me. You're the one in charge of the Zonai survey team, after all. But aren't you heading up the Ring Ruins investigation in Kakariko Village anyway, Taro? Oh, sorry. Uh, that's where your focus should be. Those fallen ruins are huge and exciting. Big enough to see from lookout landing. So, please, finish your work there before asking to join a new, mm. new research. But, but to read, but to read first-hand Zona history, th that bait's too juicy to pass up. Taro. Taro? Taro. 
looks kind of cool. Ah, uh, swordsman. Uh, someone else is here for the job already? I guess it's a lost cause. I'll head back to Kakariga Village and just stare up at those ring ruins. So he's who translates the, the zone I text. Taro is an amazing person, and he's a first-rate archaeologist, too. But he loves Zonai research so much that he'll bolt, out, bolt from a project to chase any new discoveries. I've been looking for someone to help me with my investigation of the depths. I mean, you'd be best for the job. I'll help. <laughs> Thank you. Having you help out is such a relief. We'll explain all the details to you. Come with me. Uh, can you wait just a second? I have things to do. Uh, you who stand before me, offer a pose that I may return them to the afterlife. Give me your body juices, which you don't have. Okay. All right. I was kind of hoping... Maybe I get the... Man, no. I was kind of hoping you'd have something new. Oh, but, but... Brethren location? Yeah, we'll do that. Do you have anything new? Ah, okay. Neat, I guess. Thank you. That's nice. And since it's going to be so long... Do you have it? Can you do more? You can do more. Sick. You know what? I'm tempted. Just keep... Just give, give me one more. Give me one more. Postals are infinite. Postals are infinite, and I can't really spend them right now. That one's close. Okay, we'll be getting that one soon. Yeah, one more. <laughs> I'm hoping it gives me one to the west. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Sure, that's close. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Thank you, bro brother. Uh, what? I'm following you. Where are we going? To this slab? It's very nice. No, 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 no. No, get, get, I, I want the arrows. I don't want, I don't want that. I want the, the arrows are for research? Why? They're not for research. You don't need them. So remember that fragment I had, the one that showed a single mysterious figure? I found more fragments among the things our survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle pieces. Ta-da, just look. Ribbit. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. This scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there, like the one you found for me last time. But what really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed towards the next one in the series. What? Until it ends with that last statue facing a final destination, a building that looks like a temple. Also, see those large ears on the figure in front of the building? That's got to be one of the Zonai. And then there's that strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever the Zonai is doing. So to collect my thoughts on all of this, I'm pretty sure that if you follow the gaze of each of those statues down there, you'll reach that structure. I'm also betting that it, the temple-like building holds something of Zonai origin. I've heard that Zonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Of course, th all this is just speculation on my part. So... That's where you come in, swordsman. I want you to find the temple structure depicted in the mural. Initially, I found out... I figured I could just go myself. So I gathered a bunch of bright looms and... Ten arrows. But they pulled the kid card on me and said I couldn't go to the depths. So, here. Thank you for the seeds, I have infinite. Thank you for the arrows that I wanted to grab anyway. Bright balloons and arrows are perfect for exploring the depths. There's the added bonus that checking out the depths might provide us with clues to help find Princess Zelda. So if it all works out, maybe you'll snag some mysterious power for yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda. Nothing but good things, right? Thanks for your help with this, swordsman. I'm evil, look at my mask. You mean to tell me that you already found the temple? And what was in there? Oh, it was that. Yeah, that that was a while ago, the frog. Uh. It's, it's, sorry? You're welcome? You're welcome. Auto build. A-U-T-O build. With the ability to instantly replicate things you've built. And schema stones. So there really was a Zonai temple ho housing mysterious power down in the depths. Hmm, that could also mean that some of the things collected from the depths may give us other clues. Wait here just a sec. Hmm, not that. No, not that either. Aha, here we go. We switch places now, kind of. Here, swordsman. Oh, sick. Thank you. What is it? <laughs> Not useless, I guess. This is a schema stone for a balloon, right? So if you used it with auto-build, you could replicate a balloon, right? So I'm thinking. 
That balloon over there belongs to Goggles, but it's broken right now. Do you think you could fix it with auto build? So exciting. I don't want to see it in action pronto. I'll go prepare really quick. I guess we're doing this now. Uh, swordsman, everything's ready. Please demonstrate how auto build replicates things. You know what? I'm kind of fine with this wrap up. Fuse, or not fuse, uh, auto build. There we go. I, I can't believe you rebuilt the, the whole balloon in an instant. This, this mysterious power goes beyond scientific explanation. I'm just that good. That's the, that's the power of heading east. Goggles, goggles. Oh no, not his voice. Oh no, I forgot. <laughs> what are you yelling about? Josha! <laughs> I totally forgot that he exists. <gasps> Inconceivable! My balloon, it's fixed! I'm peeking the mic so bad. <laughs> this must be the mysterious power of the zone I had. I never thought I'd get to see a marvel with my very own eyes. Thank you for making this a reality. Please, take this. I've been saving it for a special occasion. <laughs> take this Barack. <laughs> It's- it was passed down from my grandmother. I still have made it- figured out how- <laughs> what it is, but I think it might be a rock. <laughs> uh, thank you for the rock! Yep, there are incredible rocks in the depths. Rocks you wouldn't believe. Yeah, you researched those rocks in the depths. I will! <sighs> Do I have to talk to Robbie? Not Robbie, whatever his name is. Is it Robbie? I don't remember. I didn't talk to you. <laughs> I'm, I'm locked in this. No way, Koga, the leader of the Yiga clan, was there? Oh, this is dangerous, Rivet. I've got to re regain my composure. Uh, okay, come this way again. <laughs> Back to this stone. This is where I do all my important exposition. So if you face Koga in the depths, hmm? What's the leader of the Yiga clan up to down there? Or down to up there. From what I know, the Yiga clan is a super dangerous group that schemes against the kingdom of Hyrule. And Koga has had it out for you and Princess Zelda for so long. He'd do anything to put an end to your lives, or at least inconvenience you a little bit. Despite everything we're looking for already, we just can't take our eyes off this threat. Ple besides, Koga couldn't know what happened to the princess. That would make a lot of sense. He's basically Bowser, except he has never done anything successfully. If you go after him, keep in mind I'll be continuing my research of the depths from down here. Oh, by the way, do you know about the Forest of Time south of Hyrule Field? Yes? Yes. There's a chasm down there. I've gotten reports of another series of statues found at the bottom of it. Those statues are different from the one you showed me using the camera. They seem to point the way somewhere, but... And do come near where you got your auto build ability, but they don't stop. They go southwest. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> where they go is anyone's guess, and honestly, it, there's probably nothing there. <laughs> uh, there they might go to land Aru. There, it's a place. Why do you have sand on you? <laughs> Why do you smell like? I was gonna say mushrooms. That I realized that didn't make sense. And then I was going to say Gerudo women, and then that was creepy. So I'm just going to move on. Oh, there are statues that lead towards the east. Is that where you were going? I thought you already went there, to be honest. Uh, just find them if you can. That'd be really great. I I'll find everything I can. Please talk to me soon. Oh, good. He's gone. Okay. Oh, he's back. <laughs> We must get to that lab. I really appreciate you fixing up my balloon. Ultra thanks. That auto build thing is pretty darn amazing. Hmm. I should have a good think about all the practical uses of that someday. But considering I don't have many left, that day will never come. Oh, that reminds me. Hey you, listen up. Now that Josha has solved the mystery of that slate, I can return to the Pura Pad lab Laboratory in Hateno Village. If you go there, I can make even more improvements to your Pura Pad, starting with the sensor. You'll find the, the lab in East Nekluda 
off the southeast corner of Hyrule. On its far side is a Taino village. Go a bit further than that, you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you, it's a cutting edge lab. All right, I'm going to walk there. See you in 10 years. And I breathe the sigh of relief because it'll be 10 years until I have to do that voice again. That thing works by remote. Okay, um, let's, hi, can I talk to you? Wait, what are you, what, what, what is happening? Yes. Linky, welcome back. I've been hearing a lot about your adventures. So someone resembling the princess was seen disappearing into the sand shroud. Then there was a massive pyramid. And the Gibdo attacks, even the strength of the Gerudo couldn't contend with all of that. But the strength of Lemons, that did the trick. But now, because of you and Lemons, things are back to normal there. And some of the Gerudo have come here to offer support. Your help has had a tremendous impact. Thanks. Mm. It's become clear as day that there's a connection between Princess Zelda and the upheaval. Things are much more serious than I previously thought. I need you to hurry to all the remaining regions and soon. And we need to investigate the other village I'm concerned about too. Uh, what other village? Mm -hmm. Kakarika Village, home of the Sheikah tribe. It's off to the southeast in the Nukluta region. Zonai ruins, each shaped like a ring, fell direct directly on top of the village. Mm. There's gotta be a special reason for it. Right now, the Zonai Survey's team's elites are taking on the investigation. If you want to know about the Zonai, you should talk to them. If you want to know more info, talk to Atmos down in the shelter. He can probably point you in the right direction. He helps He helps deploy the monster control... Oh, it's that guy. Oh. <laughs> he can tell you more about more than I can about various regions and peoples. Mm. Anyway, I can need help from the research division for, for this, but I'm entrusting investigation of the remaining regions with the phenomena to you. Check it! Keep me posted. Well, Yara, oh. about time oh. you showed up. Now that Lady Riju has awakened as a sage, Gerudo Town is unlikely to fall to monsters. I think of her often. I haven't left the Ra Lady Riju's side in years, after all. It's hard not to feel sad about it, but as long as the Lady Riju is moving forward, so will I. We Gerudo will assist in the search for Princess Zelda. For now, we'll fortify the gates and seek out enemy weak points with the monster control crew. If we find anything out, I'll let you know. Oh, cool. I'm gonna do what I came here to do, and that's take a bath. First off, let's not look evil if I can. Maybe look like a, you know, human being that means no harm, and in fact, might mean positive things for the good of the land. Let's climb this and talk to a robot. Hello, robot. That's a shrine. Hi, with your neck. <laughs> this is a crystal refinery. Uh, I will take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Do it. Do it with all of them. Yes, 600 will create six wells. Effectively, almost doubling our output. You know, this is the only one of these uh, these foundries that I've seen. Foundry is such a good word. Thanks, Brain. Uh... I wonder how many others there are. I assume there's one in the sky. I refined your crystallized charges into six energy wells. As I said, here are your batteries. Eat them well. Yeah, almost to max, I think. I would enjoy further visits from you. Yeah. Well. Wasn't that just a session and a half? Three hours, and I feel like a lot happened. Cool. Uh, in fact, I almost feel like an entire episode was spent in Lookout Landing. So that's Death Mountain. Decayed weapons. Huh? What does he have on the end of his weapon? A rock. Good job, buddy. Uh, let's just quickly just, just walk around a little bit, make sure there's not something extremely important like that. Like that, or that. Uh, you know what? No. No. I'm gonna end the session right here, right now. And this is kind of a, a little hub world anyway, a hub area. So maybe next episode we just take a break. We just, we don't, we don't go to the sky just yet. We just take a little break, peruse the lookout landing. Uh, if you know about the exact location of the Quark Seed, I actually don't mind 
being spoiled more. I got a vague hint, but that's something that the sooner I get, the more enjoyable my recording sessions will be. Because if I'm if I'm planning on getting all the Korok seeds and I get it, well, I'll just say for a moment that I go all the way down here and up around and then to there, or I go up here and then down to there. Like, that's, that's like 30 episodes, 40 episodes, 50 episodes of me walking right by Koroks and having to retread ground later on in LP. I don't want to do that. I don't think you guys should want me to. That's sad. So, the sooner I get that, the better. Next time, in Tears of the Kingdom, we're we're gonna jive. We're gonna we're gonna vibe with Lookout Landing a little bit. Ooh, actually, wait before I end off the session. One sec. One sec. This is very important to me. Uh, where is where is Col uh, Colton? Where is he? I knew he was around here somewhere. I want to talk to him before they end up the session. That's super important to me. Bubble gems. Yeah. Good evening, traveler. Foul weather can foul my mood when I'm on my way to becoming a Satori. Oh. What? What is that I sense? Traveler, do you have gobs of bubble gems in your possession? If you have bubble gems, I'll trade them for treasure. Let's do it. If you give me three, I'll give you the mystic robe. Sounds fair. Ha ha ha! I'm so very happy. I'll dally no more. Here I go. Uh... Hmm, I feel something bubbling up from deep inside me, I think. Ah, give me more! Give me more bubble gems! I'm sorry. Now that I myself want more, please, here's the treasure I promised you. Rupee padding? That's... That's kind of insane, because rupees are so scarce in this game. But it's cool. Give me an outlet to spend my money. I'll put it on in a pinch. Uh, of course, if you happen to have any more bubble gems, I'll happily trade them for treasure. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I've been told that these are a set order, so it, it makes sense for me to just spend all my bubble gems here and now. Um, because there's a, a set rotation, you can't get, you can't get screwed by RNG, so it, just, just spend them. Ta I'll take the eye Thank you for the eyeballs. I love eyeballs. That delicious Bokoblin eyes. <laughs> Give me that thing, please. Lazalfos mask. We have Majora's mask, so it's not super important, but it's cool for completion's sake and to move on, obviously. I wonder if he will start changing. I feel something bubbling up from deep inside me, I think. Yeah, more! Give me more bubble gems! I'm sorry. Here is this mask that I found on the ground somewhere. I might have stolen it from my brother. Uh, give me that, and I won't be able to afford the next thing, but I can see it. Thank you for the tails. Again, we're not going to question how he has these. Just not going to do it. Oh, my body is feeling with mysterious pow power. I need more. Okay, what's the next thing that we can't afford? Aha! I thought so! It's part of a set! And I assume that that set reduces the cost. That would be cool. Okay, uh, let's uh, just check. Ah, he needs four now. We're up a tier. We're up a tier. I didn't mean to talk to you again. Cool. So when we have four, and I'm just gonna mark him on the map, because that just makes sense. Where... There's no rupee symbol. That's kind of sad. Uh, person. This is a person. He has vague... He's person adjacent, okay? He's person adjacent. Okay, now that... Still don't know what those runes are. That is going to be en the end of this episode. And the recording session. So thank you guys so much. So much for your help. I can't say that enough. And I honestly haven't said it enough. Can't say it enough and I haven't. Your help is is oh so appreciated. I I love getting. I, I we're gonna get the point to the point soon, where your comments are directing the episodes. Yeah, we're kind of still in ex exploration mode. There's it's a new frontier, but 
we hit that point in Breath of the Wild, and by golly, we're definitely gonna hit it in Tears of the Kingdom, where you guys say, hey, go here, and I go there, and I link your comments, or I show your comments, and you're the one who decided where this episode would, would take place. So, thank you so much. It really means a lot. And I think next time in Tears of the Kingdom, unless the comments say otherwise, I might chill in here and just do a couple quests, because clearly, clearly, being a hermit do has not worked to my benefit, considering how how I just got exp in my expanded inventory. See you guys? Then. <laughs>